Shalom, Shalom, Yasharal. I pray all is well. I hope everyone is doing delightful tonight. Uh, I got a few things I want to talk about. Um, before I do that, I want to give all praise, all honor, all esteem to Abba Yahuwah, our wonderful creator, who without him, I wouldn't be exhaling right now. I wouldn't be inhaling this fine oxygen he has provided us to uh, operate. And boy, is it useful. Comes in handy, huh? <laughs> um, you know, look at that. I really do think that that's that guy right there. What do y'all think? I mean, it sure does look like him to me. This bottom picture on the right, but uh, I don't know if that's real, if that they just took her and photoshopped, you know. But that one actor, you know, I put a picture up, not this one, I put a picture up of uh, Melinda and that actor guy that's been missing for a while. Boy, they do look a lot alike, I'll tell you that. Um, I want to go over here to these headlines, if you will, on Google. There's a lot of DNA talk, I know that, on Google. Every time I go through these headlines, <clears throat> I see a lot of... DNA, uh, Maxine's 33 and 19 viruses, dog videos and kitty cats, and uh, usually there's a uh, Thanos in here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there's always some Elon. Always. But uh, y'all notice the, how much fighting there always is on Facebook, man. And, uh, you know, I've been talking about it. About how you can't have a conversation with uh, anyone that's claiming Christianity. <laughs> Pretty much. I, I, I did... Uh, let me say this first. Every one that is claiming Christianity will troll your post and come on there and practically bite your head off and do the rest down your neck, if you know what I mean. They do. And uh, I did, I, I have to say, I did see one that was um, uh, bad mouthing my sister, beloved sister, and. Uh, I talked to him, and he did come around there at the end. Uh, he did. I have to give him credit. Uh, most of them will not um, have a rational discussion with you. Uh, he just, oh, there's Thanos. He, uh, he did finally, you know, I offered it to him if we could have a honest, you know, edifying discussion without a pissing contest and out without, you know, I'm right, you're wrong, and all that kind of dumb crap that I am no, in no way interested in. For, uh, they're, they're immature too, man. It's like sandbox playtime crap, you know. They have no, um, intellect, and, and I'm not, I'm not trying to talk down about them, I'm just stating what, it, what's 
there what it is it's the milk they are those who cannot move on to solid food they're still on the teat and that's just the truth and their doctrine their foundation is of sand Yahusha said it's like a man that built his house on sand and the storms came and um, washed his house away you know and then there's the man that built his house on the rock and you know what the rock is the rock is the Torah and the understanding the possessing of the testimony of Yahusha the real Messiah who is all about Torah who represents Torah 1,000 a million a trillion he is the Torah it's just it's so powerful and so wonderful when you grasp it when you understand man. And, and that's what really that's what drives my effort when I am trying to have a discussion with these Christians is I just so desperately want them to just see it because I, I know how it sets you free it truly does that truth sets you free man there ain't nothing like it baby it's so sweet and so filling and just it just it ties everything together it you know when it says uh, when they the Christians like to say that you know it's he did the finished work he came to fulfill the law like it's done now or something but when he did say fulfill like he did fulfill it it's not over but it's like he made it he gave it fullness and meaning now and it's just man it's sad that they don't see it what is that that looks like a face or something yeah that was one thing I wanted to talk about tonight was just you know I love Facebook because I can share my stuff on there which no one really gets to see my stuff a few of my friends and it, the only time they do get to see it is when I start shooting them text you know sending it in messenger Other, otherwise you'll never no one ever gets to see my stuff But I do, <laughs> and a couple of you, but, and I love y'all, I really do, Mish, so thankful for you guys, because, uh, you know, I know there's a few people that are going to listen to this, and man, I go through so much in a day, I'm a, I really am a old cowboy <laughs> without the cows, like there ain't a road it feels like that I ain't been down and I go through so much every day and I'm just truly am just raked just stretched and just run through the ringer every day and uh, I have no one to talk to about nothing I can't talk about anything really um, it'd be nice you know it would but there's some reason that there has to be a reason that Abba has put me in this position cause I mean Even, and when I do finally get someone that's, uh, that wants a piece of it, they can't handle it. So, so I can't even really spit it out to them when I want to, when I have the opportunity to, because they just, they can't understand. I know y'all do, my brothers and my sisters, like, those of us that are children of the most, high, I know y'all understand that, you do. And uh, I hope 
I, I want to say I hope it's not this way for y'all because it's, it's killer it's and, and it must be like I say for a reason because uh, <laughs> why would it be this way you know my conversations are always deep full of depth or they don't have to be I can uh I can hit any conversation you want to have, uh, and I don't have, it, it's not about me, I never make things about me, you know, I'll make it about you 24-7, 365, and I'm cool with that, but, uh, most people can't even handle that. Because they're just not used to uh, someone making it about them. They're not used to someone being real. Someone being able to respond truthfully, genuinely, with love, with consideration, compassion, kindness, generous. They can't handle it. It sucks that that's the way this world is, but, you know, this has to be, we, we, we have to go through this for a reason, I guess, because it's just, if that's not the case, it, it really is odd that there is this amount of people on this earth. I see thousands and thousands of people, it seems like every day. I interact with just tons of different faces and just faces I see once and I never see again just all day every day just going just swimming through the world and all these people can't have a conversation like that you know I did meet this fellow here I didn't really meet him I guess I've known him for a while he seems like he you know, he could have a legit convo, but, you know, I've, I've met people like that before that I thought could, and eventually it's just, it's, there's a lot of different things go, to, go, you know, into it. One thing that's happened to me a bunch of times, and, and I want to know if it's happened to any of y'all, have, have you ever been in this situation where you, like I'm saying, I can't find anyone to talk to? And then you find someone that wants to, and they love that they can talk to you. Man, I get it all the time. There's so many times that people have said to me, and I'm not even exaggerating. They've said they love talking to me and that they've never talked to anyone like me. And they could just talk to me forever. And... Um, I listen and I'm, I pay attention. I'm attentive, and uh, and that's the truth because I work at it. But I've had people that just love the conversations with me, and then eventually, their true nature is exposed. They lay it bare, and once that happens, they feel insecure and unworthy maybe and they run and I don't I'm not I don't judge people like that and I hate when that happens and it's and I try to tell them like it's okay just just relax it's okay we're all human we make mistakes we do these things it's okay I'm not gonna judge you I'll never even think about it let's dance let's go for curves, let's talk, whatever, I don't have to, uh, I don't hold nothing against anyone, I just don't, I truly love like I would want to get loved, and I have the no doubt con a confirming fact that I'll never receive that from Abba I do 
And I'm sure, like, my beloved sisters and people that I'm friends with, I know they could, they have the capacity to do, do, you know, live that way, but I'll probably never have a up-close relationship with anybody that would be willing to, or that could. And yeah, it sucks, I guess, but... There's got to be a bright side to it, you know. If this is uh, intended by Abba, then there must be a a really good reason that he's making me go through this because I know he's real and I know I'm his child, his son. So if he's making me go through this, there must be a really good reason, something really good in store for me, you know, because... You know, he don't never put too much on me. Whenever I get really (laughs) stretched and I'm just so raw and I just feel like giving up. Because it's just, the world's just been nothing but straight evil to me. Like, unbelievably evil to me. And I feel like just tapping out, he always does something that, you know, that that puts a smile on my face and reminds me that he loves me and, you know, but I, I have to go back into it. I have to be brought back to this level of loneliness and it's not that I isolate, and I told you, like, I interact with people all day. I'm a contractor. I work for someone different every day. I usually have different people with me. I'm dealing with, the, you know, I talk to, I got all kinds of acquaintances and friends that look me up or I talk to, and I got a lot of relationships that... Sometimes those uh, old flames get kindled once in a 